do you work? Oh, look. Oh, look at you. Look at him working. Look at a little guy working. Oh my goodness, that's so cool. You're amazing. What's up, people? I'm Zog, and welcome back to Ridecraft Infinity. Now, uh, we're over here checking out the town, pretty much because I told you guys we would kept ta keep tabs on it, but uh, it hasn't really grown a whole lot since the last time you've seen it. There's a couple extra buildings, which means uh, there's probably a couple of people that came to check it out, plus me lingering in the area here just a second ago uh, for the past, I don't know, minute or so, maybe? But you get the idea. Uh, it's it's going to be a slow process, but we will keep tabs on it because I really want to see how big this thing can get. I want to see it absolutely massive. That's what I'm looking for. But uh, yeah, so far, not uh, not a whole lot. Not a whole lot. But anyway, so we're going to go back to the diamond. The diamond because my good friend, I say you're good. Whoa, what? What are you? Owed you some endearium. Hope it's enough. Uh, yeah, buddy. I certainly hope it's enough. Holy crap, oh, man. Sheesh. Baz. <laughs> I only gave you, like, a few blocks or something. I'm sure. Well, maybe. I don't know. I don't know how much you took, but I know it wasn't that much. I didn't have that much to begin with. And so, yeah. I would certainly say it's enough, Baz. Thank you so much, buddy. I appreciate that. Goodness gracious. All right, we don't need uh, that much, but we I guess we'll keep the tank in case we ever, for some unknown reason, need more. Plus, uh, I think he used, uh, yeah. yeah. No, that doesn't store anything. So anyway, yeah, we, uh, that, yeah, that's a lot. That's a, hold, let me, oh, my mind is blown. Bash just blew my mind with that. Holy crap -o. That's a lot of stuff. Hold on, I'll get back to my thing with other stuff here in a second. So that was handled. That was a whole lot of Enderium. So much Enderium from our good friend Baz. Basilis, if you haven't checked out his channel, obviously the link is in the description. Go check him out. He does some really, really, really cool videos. And uh, he also is a very smart guy, which means he comes up with a lot of cool little things as well. So go check him out because I said so. Anyway, that is, uh, yeah, wow. Oh, man, mine is still blown. So... We're over here today. We're doing this again because you guys are absolutely amazing. Got to thank you guys uh, for all the support, especially on the Thomcraft. But even overall, like you guys just love the modded. Absolutely love it. And so, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and do another Thom Thomcrafty episode uh, for a couple reasons. One, because you guys seem to love it a lot. You like the Thomcraft. And I've gotten a comment from... Uh, uh, Am I saying it right? The Revanchist. The Revanchist? I believe so. Anyway, we said we were going to call him Revan, so Revan it is. But Revan left us a comment telling us all about this stuff. Uh, he, just some really, really cool things. The first thing that I want to point out is that, first of all, he said something, something about charging and creating viz if you don't know what that is that's what the wand holds that's like the the different aspects or something that isn't i think that's what that is i'm pretty sure that's viz could be wrong i'm pretty sure that's viz but uh, he said you can kind of basically create that from the blood in our network which is absolutely fantastic because you know we have loads of that to go around an endless supply basically so that is really 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 cool and, uh, yeah, it's really, that's uh, super amazing. But anyway, anyway, uh, we're going to get into that in the future for sure. But the other thing he pointed out to me is that the best wand, Aquarium, apparently there's an Aquarium uh, wand? Icari Icari I didn't even know Aquarium was a thing. There should be a wand. So, oh, here's the uh, Aquarium caps. I guess the caps are what it is, but you need the the wand base as well and I'm not sure what to use as the base uh, the other thing he told me about was that we also have staves you have staff is this gonna show like yeah oh here's the icy staff core we can make the staffs uh, this transmutive staff I don't know there's a lot of this kind of stuff 
But what I need to do now is actually do a little bit of research on this. We want to know what the best wand is. We want to make the best wandy thing. Uh, but it may not actually be a wand. It might be a staff or it might be... Hmm... I don't remember what the other one was, but I'm going to look it up. I'm going to see if I can't remember what it is. I know it's the staff. Uh, obviously, the regular wand. And there's another category, as, he's, as, as he described it to me. There's a different category. But I'm always a big staff guy, so I'm pretty sure that's the one we're going to go with. We're going to try to make myself a good old staff wand thing. See how it's used. See if it can be used exactly as a wand, or do you still have to make the actual wand things to like fit in this slot and hold your viz and all that good stuff? So... I don't know. Let me do a little bit of research, see if I can figure out this stuff just a little bit, and then uh, I'll bring it back here in a little, yeah, well, a little bit. So I've already learned quite a bit about what Thalmcraft is, sort of. Like, I don't know the full depth of what you can do in this mod, but I do know a little bit more about how to navigate this thing as far as, you know, doing some of this other stuff. Now, some of these things will say this missing required research and originally I thought that meant maybe the aspects or something maybe I didn't get enough of them maybe I was missing one but now I know because Lila came over and helped me out and actually gave me the recipes to discover the rest of them that I was missing I know that that is not true what it's talking about is researching other of these more of these to unlock these things so you basically, you can't just go into, for example, Golomancy and actually get all of Golomancy without having to go through Artifice or Alchemy or one of the other ones, whatever it is you need to do. You actually have to go into all of them in order to do it. For example, what I just figured out was this guy right here. These guys were not available. They were saying missing required research. And what I had to do to unlock those guys is because these guys, in order to make them, they have to be infused which is another thing I'll get into in a minute. I had to learn Essentia dis Distillation, and then I had to learn Infusion. And that is how you get the extra stuff. Like, Infusion is a big part of this. From what I understand, the limited bit that I read, so if I'm wrong, I apologize, but Infusion is important, so you kind of got to go through everything. But anyway, I'm going to move on. Yeah, I received a comment a little while ago that was like, dude, you just talk too much about some things. Anyway, it doesn't matter. We have a bone wand core, reed wand core. I don't know what all these things are, but I do know that we want to get into all of this stuff. We, we want to figure out how this works. But I do know, again, <laughs> that one of the first things you need to do is Essentia Distillation. And then after you get into a set, that one, you that's not what I wanted. What? I bought it, apparently. Then you get into the infusion, which is another thing. So first, we have to figure out Essentia Distillation, which apparently requires a crucible and a bunch of arcane stone blocks, which aren't too incredibly hard to get. we got to get the water shards, and these are all mine, so I should have plenty of these in my ME system, so that's not a big deal. And stone, we already know I have a bunch of. So these arcane stone blocks are very, very cheap for me, so that's not a problem. We need a regular furnace and a crucible. Now, to make the crucible, which is not letting me actually look at the recipe... Let's see if it shows uh, in the NEI. I'm not sure if it will. Crucible? I don't remember how I learned how to make the other one, to be honest. Uh, no, it's not telling me. It's somewhere in, th in in the book. I already have one up here. Um, I don't remember exactly what I did. I just right-clicked on it with a wand or something, right? I placed down a regular cauldron and right-clicked right on it with a wand. I think. I think that's what I did. But in any case, we have this guy here. We're not going to... I really like this brick. Uh... <laughs> So this is going to be another primary thing over in this area. This is brick stuff. But we're going to make another crucible. We're going to get some of this stuff going. I'm going to set some things up for this in order to get the Essentia distillation going. You make this guy. There's some other stuff you got to look into. Viz filters and stuff and things. And there's more arcane al alembic and this. I don't know how exactly all this works. But we're going to figure it out. Hopefully figure it out together. But I do know a little bit about what this guy does. So we're going to make this guy, we're going to play with it a little bit. Probably make a little area for this stuff off in one of these directions. Probably over here somewhere. And then uh, I'll be back with you as soon as I get something going. So here is the alchemical furnace. Yeah, there we go. 
So we put the coal in and then let's put in the stone, right? Oh, wow. Oh, look at it. It's doing a thing. Oh, what? Oh, you're giving me some stuff. Uh, I guess this is the essentia that you need to run other machines. Now, I don't know exactly what I'm getting from stone. But I do know it's breaking it down into its aspects and not, uh, you know, like making anything else out of it. It's just getting rid of the item and giving me some of this. Now, what I want to know is can you store it in a tank? Now, again, you guys are probably going to tell me in the comments that you can actually store this stuff in an ME system. It does have mod, auto mod integration for the ME network and it is capable of doing that. Can you do this? It does not appear that you can. You can't store it into this tank at the very least. Are you, you're not taking it into your inventory. You are a liquid transfer node. So how do we transfer the Essentia out of here? That's what I need to figure out. Because currently I have no idea how to do that. And I also don't know what this color is, if it's something particular. Uh, I'm not sure how this thing works. And this is one of those examples where I just derp up. Of course there's a way, you just gotta read the daggone Thalmanomicon thing. Warded jars and labels. Here we go. This is what we need in order to store this stuff and transport it. We can do Essentia tubes, which I apparently just learned. I didn't realize that, but okay. Advanced Essentia tubes, I guess that moves it faster. We don't need to worry about that just yet. We will get into that in the future, but this stuff, I guess... You've discovered several ways to transport Essentia, but none of them have proven useful for large-scale acrobatic until now. blah de blah de blah Do you move the stuff that I need or not? There's a valve. Okay. The tubes can be connected to all manner of acrobatic water jars and algorithms. Okay, so basically, this is what I would expect. All right. Uh, I, I usually don't read that stuff. Well, actually, uh, sometimes I do. It doesn't matter. So <laughs> we're just going to move on is uh, the basic idea. So what we have here... If we go to this thing, we need the uh, Arcane Alembic. Alembic. And what these guys do, you can stack up to five from what it says uh, in, in this book on top of this guy. And what that will do, it will send this, this goo here, which is basically a combination of all of the Essentia into one goop. They need to be filtered out and separated from what I understand. So you can stack all of these al alum alumbics, alum alumbics, how do you say that word? I don't know, it's a word that I don't know how to say. Al alum alumbic, arcane alumbic. You can stack the arcane alumbics on top of this guy, up to five, I believe, and then that will separate them out. Now each one of them can then transport that into a jar. Now you can fill them up through various methods. They were talking about f getting these uh, warded jars making them and right clicking with the jar in hand on the alembic and you know you can fill it that way but what i want to do is actually set up a little thing over here what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and stack the alembics like you might expect me to uh, apparently that's the required part and then use these uh warded uh not warded essentia tubes to transport that essentia into these jars now this is the first step like i said the emmy system apparently has a way to store it as well we will dive into that in the future, but for now, we're just going to use the jars so that I have a way to kind of mess with this stuff. Uh, just play with it and see what it's about. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to expand this platform. We're going to have the jars set up. We're going to have the tubes set up, and we're going to have the Allenbex on top when I come back. So are you ready for my noob moment? Noob! This is what it looks like. I have a feeling that I don't need all of these on here, that one will suffice. Maybe five speeds it up. Maybe five does something else. I don't know, but the book told me that there was a limit of five of these. Uh, let's see. Alchemic furnace. Da, 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 da. You can stack up to five different alembics on top of a single furnace. I figured that would make it better. That's what I read, and I was like, hmm, must be better. I don't know. It doesn't seem to be doing that. Now, let me see. I thought maybe... Maybe by doing this, it would, yeah, speed it up, or... Uh, if the item you put in here had different aspects that it was comprised of, you know, it would filter more of them. Arrows? Ooh, you get some decent stuff out of arrows. Sure. And apparently we need a lot more than five as well. So, I'm not entirely sure. Yes, I am wasting all of this. I'm just trying to figure out how this stuff works. So bear with me. Now what I can do here is I can go ahead and take a label and right click. And now that one's locked in. So all of the arbor is going to go into that. 
And then as soon as another one pops in and another one and another one, but what I want to know is, are you processing? See, there's that one right there. I guess with one cable, all five become pointless because it can only transmit one at a time. That's, I guess that's what's happening. I'm not sure, but I do have a whole bunch of Essentia here. Well, I say that's a whole bunch, but in reality, you guys are like, that's not a whole bunch. So how do we get this? Can we just like do this? Nope. I got one water out of it. <laughs> that's cool. What about you, Essentia Tube? Nothing? All right. I thought maybe, I don't know, maybe we could like get the, uh, I don't know if you can, I guess you can't really do it that way. That would be pretty cool, but I assume there is a way to turn the Essentia into the a actual things that you need for like the table and stuff. I know this stuff is also used for, you know, like infusions and things like that. I don't know. And I do know this is more than likely not the correct setup for any of this, but what I do know is that technically speaking, maybe the worst configuration possible, but it technically is working. So we have a little bit of Essentia, and once I learn more about the thing, we can we can move this stuff around. We can remake this. This really isn't that difficult to get. So what we're going to do is we're going to move on to the infusion part of things. We may not get to actually infuse anything in this episode, but at least it'll be set up and ready to go. So I think this uh, infusion altar thing that I need to build is going to go over in this direction. So I need to take this guy out a little bit more right here. And then make another branch. This was probably going to go a little bit further back. Like over here-ish maybe? I think that'll work. I think that'll work pretty well. So we're going to do this next part together. What you need to do for the infusion altars, you need the four shards. I think I put those in the right place. I may not have. But then you need the stones. Is it the right place? It's not. I need to switch them all. I just had them a little bit mixed up. It's okay. And you need 40 of that, which we do have. So after you do this, you have the runic matrix. You need one of those. You only need four stone bricks. I accidentally made more. So we're just going to keep those aside for now. And then you need four of these guys. And then what you need to do is you need to make the pedestal, which is in this shape right here. And you get two of them, but it does cost five air. So I think that's air. And then you get your arcane pedestals, but you only need one of them. Now, we can go ahead and set this guy up, but we can't actually activate it and make it go live, so to speak, uh, just yet. Because we need more uh, viz in our wand right there. Is that the center? That does appear to be the center. So now we need the stone bricks. I don't need you. I need the stone arcane stone bricks. So one here, one here, one here, one here. Then we need the regular stone blocks here, 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 and here. Then, not right on top, see, there's that thing, uh, shift, there we go. And then we need the matrix right there. Now, in theory, I believe I have this right, I believe I do. When we right click this with a wand and have enough stuff in our wand, it will actually activate and give us the infusion altar that we can use to infuse things, which is really cool. But as you see down there, we don't have enough ordo because we just used 40 of it. So we need to go get some more. So I will be right back with that stuff. Uh, demon evasion, perfect. So now we have wand in hand and we should be able to right click on this guy. Bam, we got the thing. <laughs> it's, the thing looks so, oh, oh fly I said. All right, now that thing looks so cool. I like this, I like this a lot. Anyway, so now we have our runic, there's the runic matrix. This is the infusion altar, infusion pillar, arcane pedestal, Fusion pillar. Now I have no idea exactly how this thing works. So I do have to go do some re more research, but I have noticed that this right here is, it's like filled with other things, but it's not actually coming down and doing this stuff. And I don't know why it's not doing this stuff. I don't understand what is happening with this thing. Like how do you, the alembic is almost full. Yeah, that's fine. You, I don't, you are full. You are full, almost full, almost full. How do we make you extract? How do we make you do the thing? How do you go forward and do stuff? I don't know. So I need you guys' help figure out how to, what's the right way to do this? That's what I'm looking for. What's the right way to do that? Anyway, 
Welcome to the Zog mo Noob Moment. I know, usually know a lot of stuff about mods, but like I said, Thalmcraft is not one I mess with very often. Like, hardly ever. This is the furthest I've been into Thalmcraft, and some of you are like, what? You're barely started. I know, I, I am aware of this. This is a big mod, and I've never actually done it. So, yeah, help me out. Give me some ideas on what exactly I am supposed to do with this stuff, and that way I can actually progress in this without boring you guys half to death. So... Now that we have the infusion stuff here, what I believe we need to do, now what we were looking for a better wand. Now this wand is very, very, very tiny. I feel like it's so tiny because I'm using everything so much. Like we're, we're down to 25 of each viz and I'm, I'm, why, what, why could I not just like, oh, there it goes. Now it's placing. It's weird. I couldn't like place it in the, whatever. Anyway, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Figured it out. It's fine. But what we need to do is we want the better wands, right? And and I did think about this too. I also have another question for the Thalmcraft uh, Thalm experts out there. What is the purpose of the staff since it cannot be placed in here? If you can't put it in here, what do you use it for? I know, I understand it can you can store huge quantities of viz, viz which is amazing. I mean, that's great. I, I mean, I love that concept. But this is the only place I've really used it. Now, I know you also have the, the spells and stuff, which we can play with, but, um, you know, we, we will play with them eventually. But I, I'm just curious, like, is there a way to actually put the Viz into... A, can you take it from the staff and give it to a wand or a scepter and then put it in here and then use it? Is that a thing that can happen? Because if that's good, then, you know, that'd be okay. I could, I could see that. But anyway, I was just curious. If you guys know the answer, feel free. Leave a comment because you guys are amazing at that. And, uh, yeah. Now it's time to mess with something a little more fun rather than just a pure progression of the mod. We're going to dip into something else. That's, I, I think it's pretty cool, and I learned it last episode, actually. So what we're going to do is we're going to get into the Golemancy. Right now, we only have the Straw Golem, and we only have the Gather uh, Core. From what I understand, you can make these guys... Let's see, right now we need to find these things and put them into the cauldron with a hay bale and we'll make a straw golem, which is cool. Uh, I don't know enough about the mod to know what will give me what, so this could be a process for me. Unless there's a way to take it directly from this, I guess I could kind of put them in here just to see what gives what kind of thing. But for right now, I do know that in order to make the core, I need niter. And I did figure out what I need. Uh, oh, this is, oh yeah, okay. So in order to make niter, I need to do this thing right here. So what I have is uh, these things right here. And from the book, it says, where are, uh, alchemy? Yeah, you. Uh, the crucible needs to place over a source of constant heat and filled with water. Got that. Except for the heat. I need to put the heat down. I forgot about that. Uh, but as soon as we get the niter, we can actually make two niters. We want to make two niters, actually. Uh, and I have just enough for that, actually. So that's perfect. Once the water starts boiling, you simply throw any items you wish into the crucible and they will be broken down into their component essentia. Perfect. If you know the proper formula, blah, 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 you can then drop a special item. Yeah. Basically, what we want, we need to, ooh, we need a source of constant heat. So for right now, just right this second, we're going to do some nether rack. That's nether brick. We need nether rack and flint and steel you so give me some building blocks momentarily so i can put a piece of this down nope nope this isn't needs to be placed over it but in minecraft over it means one block away <laughs> yeah that's not the right block this is the right block and then you oh, wrong side there all right so now the water should start boiling here in just a second now then we can do this there's, is it boiling? Now it's boiling. So now what we can do, that's interesting. It's making a noise. So it's boiling and we need one more torch, 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 regular torch. That gives us one flux. And then we have two pieces of coal, which gives us two of the energy, two potentia and two flame, uh, at there. Yeah. So what we can do, I, I don't, can we drop them all to get like, all? Oh, whoa. whoa. Oh, sweet. It tells us what we have in there. Perfect. So now that that is boiling and stuff, it says it degrades over time. So we want to do this soon. So now we have four. 
Uh, and in the book, let's see. Nope, that's not what I wanted. Niter. Oh, we need three. Oh, oh, wait. Okay, well, we'll do one. Glowstone dust is what we need. We'll get some more of the coal. And we're going to have some leftovers. So, torch. Uh, one more. Uh, wait, what What did I need? Three each? So, yeah, that'll work. So, let's go ahead and drop these in here, too. Oh, look, we have uh, an ordo. Something broke down. You see how that worked? Anyway, so now we need glowstone. Let's just go ahead and do this now. So, if you don't move fast enough. So, let's do one. We got one niter. There's one niter. Now, what do we need? What do we have in here? We have three flames still, but we only have one Lux, which means we need to go ahead and get another Lux in there. We need two more torches, and we need another piece of coal, probably. So let's go ahead and just grab a couple of each. That breaks down so quick. We need a torch. We've got to remember, I've never done this before. Oh, we got some kind of thing overflowing. That's a thing that can happen. Coal, we're just going to let that happen because I don't know what it does at the moment. Uh, yeah, let's do that. So now we can go ahead, throw you in there, and you in there. Maybe not you yet. Can we throw you in now? There we go. And we'll go ahead and throw you in there. Nope, come on. Thank you. There we go. We got, we got two niter. Now, I don't know what this stuff is. This is apparently bad or something. Does it give me... Yeah, it does. Flux flu. We have the flux flu, and I don't know what it is. But what we can do, now that we have two nighters, we don't need this block anymore. Because we can put down a piece of niter, which also counts as basically an open flame. And it's endless, and it's awesome. It's pretty amazing. So, now that we have all this, this is all breaking down as we speak. And I don't know what this little purple stuff is, or how to get rid of it. So you guys are going to have to help me out with that as well. But nonetheless, it is pretty interesting how that works and I imagine it will eventually overflow there it goes and that kind of sit on the ground and if I stand in this stuff I get the flux flu I don't know what the flux flu is supposed to do to me but it's not whoa that's a big block holy crap oh oh there it goes it's spreading everything's breaking down and overflowing everything oh no this is such a bad situation what are we gonna do I really don't know what to do you guys gotta help me out I guess I don't know maybe it dissipates over time in any case, now that there's nothing in it, it should stop producing that, so we should be okay. Uh, you can also hold a wand in your hand, shift, right, click, and I guess it does this all instantly, maybe, when you're done with everything. But it does dissipate, like, it turns into this stuff pretty quick, so I, I would imagine it's not too incredibly hazardous. But I also believe that this stuff can be eaten. I think this is what, uh, I'm sorry, I forgot your name. Uh, I forgot who exactly told me, but somebody told me that this stuff... I think it's this stuff. Could be something else entirely. Actually can be turned into mana for Batania, which is really cool. It's a really cool idea. Uh, but in any case, we now have the niter. So what we need to do is go and see what we need to make this core. Uh, Golomancy and then core. And then we do, this is just arcane workbench. No problem. We probably have those. Which we need some bricks and the niter. And then we can have this core as well. Do we have enough? We should. Yes. Okay, good. So the niter, and then I just need some brick. Do I have any bricks available at the moment? I do. One, two, three, four. So we go here. One, two, three, and four. Now we have the golem animation core for gathering. I believe. Oh, wait. Maybe not. Hold on. Oh, no, no, no. It doesn't have the emblem on it. It's supposed to have the emblem. So that's how you make the golem animation core blank one. Oh, and then you need to throw this in here with Lucrum and Terra. Wow, this is such a process. All right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and make this guy. Not sure exactly how, what gives me these things or whatever, but, you know, I'm going to make this one. And then I'm going to go ahead and make the Golem as well through the same similar process, figuring out what gives me these things and just kind of making it work. And after I figure all this stuff out, I will bring you guys right back. And, uh, yeah, we're going to play with the Golem. But do be sure to tell... Oh, let me up. Be do sure... <sighs> words, So Such a problem with words. Be sure to let me know exactly how to, like, get 
you know, specifically what I need for these things into the crucible. Cause I, right now, all I know is just to throw items in. I don't know if there's a way to transfer it from here or something else and have some kind of overflow protection. So it goes into a tank instead of, I don't know. There's, I imagine there's a lot of stuff you can do with this. I just don't know what it is yet. Anyway, let me get to making these things and I'll bring you back here in a little bit. So I'm running a little bit short on time, but I did go ahead and get this. And what the book says, what the Thaumonomicon says is to shift click or right click on uh, the side of the inventory you want the golem to interact with. So if I were to go and shift click or shift click, what? What? How do we place it? I have the golem in hand. What? Oh, wait. Oh, there we go. Now he's there. There he is. Not shift click, just regular right click. So now, in theory, this is marked as his home ro home location, I guess. So if we would now put the golem animation core of gather on him. Now he's there. Now he's gathering. So let's see, does he work? That's the question. What are you doing, buddy? Uh, give me bloodwood. Sure. Do you work? Oh, look. Oh, look at you. Look at him working. We got a little guy working. Oh my goodness, that's so cool. You're amazing. What's your name? I don't know what your name is. You're... Mm, hay bale. It's your name. Your name is hay bale. We're going to name you. Can we name tag these guys? Hey. Hey, uh, golem guy. Come here. Uh, uh. Oh! Oh, we got him. He's hay bale. Hey, Bill. Hey, Bill is picking up all of the things. That's so amazing. Oh, I picked them all up. Are you done? You're done now. Look, that's so cool. But look, he put them in the bottom ones. That's pretty good. Hey, Bill, you're amazing. Now go ahead. One there and one there. <laughs> we'll play with this guy in the future to see what like what his range is. But in the Thaumonomicon, it actually says 16 blocks, which is still pretty cool. That's a pretty handy little distance. So now technically... I don't have to worry about anything. If I want anything in the chest, I could just drop it down right here. Just be like, boop, 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 and it's done. It's so amazing. <laughs> hey, Bell, you're the coolest, man. All right, anyway, so if you did like the episode, don't forget to hit that like button. If you want to see more and you want my videos sent directly to you, ooh, directly to you, don't forget to hit, uh, ooh, well, wait, wait, wait. I have to restart. I got to do a restart. If you liked the video, don't forget to hit that like button. If you want to see more and more, you want my videos sent directly to you, then don't forget to hit subscribe. Comment, favorite, share if you like you want to. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Totally messing up my own outro, man. How does that happen?